Hey y'all and welcome back to my creative life with Kel Sweetie where we craft, where we read books, where we love the holidays and essentially do whatever our creative hearts desire. Today we will be moving through some things that I have bought for this Christmas season. Now I know that it's November but they have been putting out Christmas things since October and since a little bit before then in September, um, <laughs> in order, I guess, to cater to people who celebrate for the holidays. Personally, I feel like it's starting to get a lot of control, especially as somebody who shops for both Halloween and Christmas. I think that it's wild to be thinking about these things three months in advance <laughs> and kind of being pushed into fear buying. I am hoping this year that anything else that I will be buying will be thrifted, which a good portion of some of my most favorite things that I found were thrifted. And Walmart had a sneaker attack this year, especially considering I will be doing a village on my bookcase, top of my bookcase which I'm excited to get to. I'm hoping that I have enough things for it. But regardless, this haul will be split up into multiple videos, mainly because I feel like that might be better than just doing one long one. I still haven't figured out whether or not you guys like something that's just long to just let play, or if you prefer something that's bite-sized. I'm one of those people who really doesn't care as long as I get good content. <laughs> so, I'm going to be splitting this up into, I believe, what's going to be three different videos. Looking at what's kind of in front of me, it'll be three or four. But today, we're going to get into the things that I have thrifted so far because they really are the things that I have kind of loved the most. Yeah, because they just have that vintage folksy feel and that's the kind of Christmas stuff that I love, especially growing up in the Midwest. So let's get into it. We have a lot to cover. A little bit of anxiety looking at this because after a month and some change of, you know, buying things, you just kind of look up one day and you're like, wow, that's, I'm looking at money. I'm looking at dollar signs in front of me. So yeah, let's just get into it quickly. <laughs> So yeah, excuse any sounds of paper or paper bags or plastic bags you may hear. I have everything sitting in front of me, so I'm gonna literally be putting, pulling it out of the bags that I've had them in um, as I'm kind of walking through the hall and everything. So if you hear, you know what it is. So I wanna start off with some purchases that I made at the antique mall a couple of weeks ago, about two or three weeks ago. I went with my cousin who just moved out here to the antique mall. Oh, which one was it? I'm gonna put it down here. I'm going to put it down here because I can't think of what it is yet. I think it was a Sherman Oaks antique mall. We will see if I was correct about that. But it, they are currently closing out. Um, if you are watching this or in the LA area, Sherman Oaks Antique Mall will be closing, we heard in a discussion, at the top of the year. So until then, they will be marking down their prices and ongoing until essentially New Year's Eve or whenever they decided to close their doors. Really unfortunate. You know, we ended up showing up and we found some great, well, I found some great holiday Christmas items. This year's theme on our Christmas tree is the Polar Express. Every year we do a theme. The recent years we've been getting more specific with our theme, not just what color combo we want, which I think the first two years we started having a Christmas tree when we moved into our own spot together, me and my partner, and it was kind of like traditional, just red, just, you know, bright green, ooh, just gold, red and gold, and stuff like that. We have now started getting very specific. Last year's was Harry Potter Great Hall. So it was essentially gold. Gold, sparkles. I got some paper stars to put in. The inspiration I may put here of what our tree looked like, but like that times a little bit more. Got a lot of special like Harry Potter ornaments and everything. And it looks so pretty, like very sparkly and very different for me because I usually love a traditional looking Christmas tree. 
and it was very gold and sparkly. So it was bright, it was very bright, which was great. I loved it. That was last year. This year it's Polar Express, which will have some crafts definitely coming up because there aren't necessarily there are specific things like since it's a movie you're kind of having to like grab from specific things from the movie and everything you don't just want just trains on it and everything and very specific looking trains which i'll get into later all that being said the main thing that i wanted from it was kind of the idea that this tree while it did have references to the movie it also looked like your 50s like Christmas tree, traditional Christmas tree and everything. I've been really trying to stock up on vintage looking Christmas ornaments. That introduction done. I found these really nice vintage Christmas or ornaments at the antique mall. One of them being this drum. That was probably, I wanna say about three bucks. I found one booth that really had great prices to begin with. So I got that drum. I got this wonderful sleigh, vintage looking sleigh. It's so gorgeous. This was three and I could not find another one. I would have loved to get three of these. I'm, I'm kind of like when it comes to these big shaped type ornaments, I love to get like three of them just because our tree, I mean, it's not huge. Our place isn't like Victorian you know or anything but you do want something that you can notice around the tree and everything but yeah i could only find that one but i absolutely loved it i i love on the inside i haven't opened it up yet but on the inside the cushion inside the sled it has like all of its quilting it looks so nice it looks so so nice another thing i got was this brass trumpet that I thought this brass horn, I thought it looked so nice. It reminded me of like the 12 days of Christmas and everything. And it's, you can tell that it's actual like brass. And I got these bells that I just thought were so cute. They're just so nice looking. I was trying to see if they had like a maker's uh, like mark of like, you know, the year that it was made, but I'm not really seeing it but it is by Midwestern Home Products, so that reads. But I thought these little small bells were so cute. And then I also got this decoupage ornament. I have some more decoupage ornaments that we found this last weekend, actually while we were in Corona for a wedding and we went thrifting. And I, have, I actually got to have a set of those, but one thing I wanna try this year is doing a decoupage ornament craft. I personally love Black Santas around my home. It's something I picked up from my granny who loved Christmas and everything. She loved having Black Angels and Black Santas around the house and everything. And I picked that up from her and I just love collecting them. And you know, because of my partner being Latino, we also love, whenever we do find like a kind of racially ambiguous Santa of some kind, we love to kind of pick that up to just to have the have it in the house, you know? We, I loved the look of this Santa. However, this is not a black Santa. And I wanted to try my luck at possibly Photoshopping a very vintage looking Santa and learning how to decoupage, um, to make my own decoupage ornaments. That, because, you know, unfortunately I just, Finding something vintage like this, but it features Black Santas, is just unfortunately very hard and nearly impossible to do. So I wanna try and craft my own. Look out for the possibility of that video coming up, probably in December, not November. <laughs> but that's what I found at the Sherman Oaks Antique Mall. I'm positive it was Sherman Oaks, but that's what I found at the Antique Mall. I also went to Savers sometime end of August, beginning of September, and I found these wine glasses and these goblets. We have a friends miss get together every year where we invite our found family, our best friends and their partners over and we make a Christmas dinner. We have like Christmas, we have games and stuff, but essentially it's just like a grown up dinner just to kind of be together and be with your found family and be thankful to be with them, especially since we don't have, we don't have a Friendsgiving but because we kind of take the pilgrimage to my homeland of Ohio. Um, but we like to still make up for it and still have something with our friends because we're just so close to them. And that's where Friends Miss kind of was made. All that being said, we have a like Spode Christmas dinnerware set. It kind of, 
it came from me thrifting a very nice set of dishes and they weren't necessarily spode but as we started collecting more and more we started loving the spode christmas wear the christmas tree wear and everything and so we've we've kind of just we're building things onto it the idea is that as we grow out of this house and we're able to even have bigger dinner parties or we invite more people over which even this year we've started inviting more and more people and even as our friends start to have partners who they invite over we can build onto the set that we have that's for our christmas it's like a christmas china thing i know very very uh traditionalist of us i found these amazing spode dinnerware glasses look how nice these are i found these thrifting at savers for a set of four of them i think they were like 4.99 and i ended up getting all of them that they had i i think there's eight in the in the group unfortunately i'm pretty positive there's gonna be more than eight of us at the dinner but that's like kind of a thing about when you're thrifting and piecemealing a dinner set together of a very specific type of design. You know there's going to be things missing. You know it's going to be mismatch. And for me, I feel like trying to find the closest match as possible, but it's still having this slight look to them where you're like, no, that's not added or whatever. I feel like that kind of adds a hominess to it. I don't know. I might be crazy. If you're somebody who's like, that would drive me crazy. I hear you. I do and there are moments where I'm like I wish there were more of them but also there are moments where I'm like but where am I gonna find like a, a 20 goblet set I don't know maybe while thrifty somebody might have gotten rid of their entire set and they're absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love them um I think like this year what I will do not like how I messed up during Halloween <laughs> I will vlog planning your friends miss and I will be sure to get footage of our entire set that we've kind of thrifted or like bought over the years and stuff like that. There are a couple other things um, that will be in these haul videos that are like will go into our Spo dinner set and everything. But yeah, I just thought those were so amazing and they were they were exactly the Christmas tree. I think that there have been many like copycatters over the year trying to make that design and everything. But there's like tiny differences. There are main tiny differences and everything, which I'm not a big stickler on to be honest. If it's close to it and it looks like it, we're accepting it. But I've also noticed what the differences are just wanting to know. So we went to Corona this last weekend for a wedding. And while we were out there, there was a Salvation Army that we passed while going to breakfast. And I personally love going to the suburbs or smaller towns um, because and thrifting. One, because usually older people are out there, meaning that they're getting rid of some of their stuff or they're, you know, they, they can't have certain things anymore, so they're donating it. And you're getting real vintage stuff. Whereas here in LA, people are scavenging for those vintage items so much to resell. Or they're just, there's so many young people who are living in LA just because of the affordability, the non-affordability of it, to be honest you're not getting things that are being donated that are like necessarily vintage or anything like that or really worth anything it's been really hard like i do not recommend thrifting in la it's just way too hard um, even my cousin who moved here she's a huge thrifter and uh, i took her out to the oc to save her and she found a ton of stuff and she was kind of saying oh i thought it was like i'm never gonna thrift again because i tried going in la and it was just horrible and i was like yeah you just can't do it we of course thrifted while we were out there and we're like mm, let's just see if there's some christmas items and everything there were and we made out we walked out of there and it was we ended up spending like 18 dollars like rounding up to 18 bucks and we found so much good stuff in my opinion one of which were these i don't think that you can necessarily call them vintage these were from big lots at some point in time and they were these blue sleds you see where I'm going with this? Considering our theme is Polar Express, we thought these are so good because we're trying to incorporate this like dark velvety blue into it just because of the, the train and the dark blue sky. That's the whole color palette of the Polar Express. Now, they have these sparkly blue balls in them. I don't know if the glare is getting that. I'm gonna rip those out and I'm going to put 
some gold belts that I got from Walmart, which will be in another video. Those will go in there and it'll be like when like the the bell that he has from from Santa's sleigh like dropped out into his, his sled and stuff like that. That's the whole idea. We are I was really excited with these. I thought that they just looked so cute. Now keep in mind, a minute for a rant. These were originally six dollars at Big Lots. Ask me how much they were at the Salvation Army. $5.99. They were six dollars. We're thrifting. At the end of the day, these are second hand. Why are we still charging the same amount as what it is on the tag? I don't know the year that these came out, but I know that it couldn't have been that long ago. These aren't 90s big lots, you know? And I don't know if you're thinking, you know, I guess with inflation, that adds up. But it's still just ridiculous to be buying things. And I've said this before because I've noticed this even during my Halloween hauls. Why are we charging the same or even slightly more when the tag is still on some of these items at the thrift store? Regardless of inflation or whatever, I think it's ridiculous. You go to thrift to not pay what it was in the store, regardless of what it may have been, you know, three years ago. I just don't think that that makes any sense whatsoever. So, you know, that's my mini rant. These look great. Expect a craft to make these perfect for our tree. We got two of them because we really didn't need that many. Again, like we're still putting normal ball ornaments on the tree. So we just don't, we, we love it to be very maximal, but we also like, we still need room for the actual tree to show. Not, going back to the conversation of the decoupage, we found some decoupage ornaments that were simply gorgeous. And they really look like they were from the nineties and they're so nice. Now, I am going to have to Mod Podge some of these. Now looking at them because some of the like wrap for it's kind of coming off. They have these bears and these gifts on them. And they look like they're straight out of the 90s. Like this picture that was decoupaged onto the side of them. And it's got like this burgundy deep color that we think would go really well with this bluish tint that is with, I don't, you can't really see that very well, but we think that that's a good color combination and palette along with a little bit of traditional reds and greens and everything just to kind of make the, the color palette like pretty vintage looking and and like adding some of that brass in we just really want it to kind of look like a vintage color palette so we picked up those there was a set of six so it's a good amount for the final thing that i thrifted i absolutely love this guy my partner at first was like no i don't look kind of like a prisoner with these pajamas he has on i agree but that's why we're going to diy this up a little bit it is hold on a little bit there's a little bit, little piece in his his little hair. It's this cute little folksy Santa. Look at his little wood feet, and he's got just a little block in him, so he sits up on your little shelf. And he's got his little hair. I think he might even be a Scrooge. Who knows? He's got these little eyes. He's so folksy. Could I make him? Most certainly, but I do not have the sewing skills necessary to make him. So what will happen? I think it'll be a pretty easy DIY. I'm going to thin out, really, really thin out some paint. And as I said before, I prefer Santas of color. So I'm going to thin out some paint and kind of dye up his, his face a little bit. I'll be able to test how some of those dyes look underneath his, his little scraps beard. And then I am going to get some red dye and dye his pajamas. I'm going to basically dye, I, and I think I'm going to paint dye these stripes on him so that it's green and red and it's a little less, I just did time in the pen and hello, welcome to Christmas. I just, again, I could have, could I have made this? Maybe. But it just, it's, DIYing this up a little bit was just better. And I got them for three bucks. It was three bucks. Now this was such a find. And I could tell this was somebody's grandmother's. I absolutely love him. And I cannot wait 
to DIY him. I'm so excited. So that's all for today's haul. I'm going to be filming the rest of these in succession, but that is it for my thrifting so far. I really want to make an effort of thrifting the rest of my Christmas. If I can, I'm going to be going to Ohio for the great pilgrimage for Thanksgiving. And every time I'm there, me and my family go to an antique mall because of just the prices and the fines. And I really want to make an effort to not thrift or antique anything that is not Christmas. I really want to make sure that I'm just building a vintage Christmas as much as I can with what I have available. I do just want to try my best to thrift any other Christmas items that I get this year just for that vintage look and everything. But I am excited to unpack all of my things, which I will be filming. And I hope that you all subscribe and stick around for more Christmas content. I am excited to see what we get into. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.